Maggie Soul and welcome back to my channel, Now I Know My Rights, a channel and a platform dedicated to teaching you your rights. Today's presentation is about the top 10 facts you should know about road rage. A recent segment on ABC describes road rage as an American epidemic with dire consequences. AAA reports over 1,500 cases of road rage every single year. And as shocking as it might seem, in all these cases, in about 37% of these, a gun is used. You should keep in mind that while aggressive driving is considered a traffic offense, road rage is a criminal one. If you confront a situation of road rage, remind yourself that someone has to give in. Someone has to be the bigger person. And it's more important to reach your destination safely than teaching someone a lesson. Without any further ado, let's start today's presentation. The top 10 facts you should know about road rage. The following presentation is an overview of things everyone should know about road rage. 1. What is road rage? Road rage is an aggressive conduct that occurs between drivers on a roadway, street or highway, which may start off with rude gestures of hand and face, including yelling, but quickly escalates to a conduct that injures or attempts to injure another person. The term road rage originated in Los Angeles during the late 1980s when some frustrated drivers started shooting at each other in the freeways. 2. What is the legal definition of road rage. Each state has its own laws and regulations pertaining to road rage. Almost every state considers road rage a crime. If you are not sure about your own state, check its DMV website or just Google road rage online. The following are examples of road rage. Yelling obscenities, using rude gestures, driving in a dangerous or threatening manner, hitting another car with your car, running other drivers off the road, getting out of your car and physically confronting another, inciting the passengers in your car to fight another person, using any kind of weapon to inflict harm to another person or property, passing on the right, passing in emergency lanes or turn lanes, tailgating, hard braking in front of the following vehicle, failing to yield or disregarding traffic signals and signs. All of these are examples of a conduct that would result in road rage. 3. What is the difference between aggressive driving and road rage? It's important for drivers to understand that there is a fundamental legal difference between aggressive driving and road rage. Many people drive aggressively at some point or another. They may speed, follow other drivers too closely, and ignore traffic signs. These actions are irrational and can be dangerous, but it's done without meaning to upset others. It will often result in traffic offense charges. You pay a fine, you get a point or two on your driving record, and that would be the consequence 
for aggressive driving. On the other hand, road rage is considered a criminal offense because a driver engaging in this kind of conduct has the intent to cause harm. 4. California Road Rage Crimes Road rage can lead to a number of criminal offenses, both misdemeanors and felonies, which can result in a county jail or state prison sentence, hefty fines, and worst of all, a permanent criminal record. The following crimes typically arise from road rage incidents. Assault. Assault with a deadly weapon, meaning aggravated assault. Battery, meaning using an unlawful use of force. Brandishing a firearm, meaning showing or drawing a firearm in a rude, angry, or threatening manner. Criminal threats, hit and run, reckless driving, and vandalism. 5. Road Rage Defense Any of the crimes charged in a road rage case has very specific criminal elements that the prosecution must prove beyond a reasonable doubt. Because both drivers are acting in anger, in many road rage cases, various defenses may be available to both, such as self-defense. 6. How to protect yourself against road rage. Give yourself time to get wherever you're going. If you are upset, take time to calm down before getting behind the wheel. Be patient with slow drivers on the road. Don't use threatening hand gestures. Don't tailgate. Don't lean on your horn no matter how frustrated you may be. And never stop to confront another driver. 7. What to do if confronted with road rage? If another driver acts aggressively towards you, do as follows. Change lanes or gradually slow down to create distance with the aggressive driver. Exit the highway if necessary. Don't make eye contact and don't respond to the other driver. Don't stop or pull over to the side of the road. Lock your doors, and if the other driver keeps following you, drive to the nearest police station. If the other driver shows you a gun, call 911. 8. Civil and criminal penalties for road rage. In some states, road rage is prosecuted as a third-degree crime and drivers convicted of aggressive driving, which causes serious injury, can be sentenced to three to five years in jail plus payment of hefty fines. Beyond criminal liability, a driver in a road rage could face civil charges and can be ordered to pay damages caused by the reckless driving such as reimbursement of medical expenses, lost income, loss of earning capacity, as well as compensation for pain and suffering. 9. Is punitive damages awarded in road rage cases? Road rage is an intentional act, 
often made with the intent to hurt someone or it is made in complete disregard for hurting another person. Courts try to discourage this kind of conduct and punitive damages could be a way to punish the defendant for the act of road rage. 10. Does insurance cover road rage incidents? The short answer is that insurance almost never covers a road rage incident. Even where the perpetrator has ample auto insurance coverage, the policy will not cover damages and injuries suffered by another driver as a result of intentionally violent actions taken by the insured. Even though the issue of coverage depends on the precise language in the policy, typically all policies limit coverage to injuries that result from the insured's operation of the insured car and thus once the insured exits the car and gets into a physical altercation he's no longer operating a car secondly almost all auto policies contain a coverage exclusion for intentional acts such as assault other potential sources of insurance such as the perpetrator's home ins owner's insurance and the victim's own auto insurance policy have the same exclusions. Bottom line, as we see fairly regularly on the news, some drivers take road rage to the next level and provoke a physical confrontation that may lead to serious injuries or even death. If you are confronted with such a sad situation, don't challenge an aggressive driver. It's more a sign of strength than weakness to let it go.